Today, I'm gonna to show you three new ways to grow your Instagram both organically and fast in 2021. Some of these strategies and features have been around before 2021, but this year, they're more powerful than ever and you need to get on them. Before we get into it, make sure you like, subscribe, and I've just released a brand new Instagram course. You can check out more details on that in the description. Number one, the first feature that has been around for a long time but is becoming way more apparent and predominant in 2021 is SEO, otherwise known as search engine optimization. This strategy here allows you to passively gain highly targeted followers on Instagram based off the keywords in your profile, in your content, etc. Now in the past, Instagram has not been very search friendly. Aside from putting keywords into your username and your name, there's been real no other way for you to show up in search results than that. However, now it's becoming more and more of a feature where you can put keywords into your bio, into your content and so on, and potentially show up in search results. Traditionally, SEO is based entirely around content on search engines like YouTube or Google, where you might create a piece of content that's how to grow on Instagram, and then people that are searching that specific term will find that content and click on it, and therefore you gain a new reader or viewer or so forth. Instagram is a little bit different. You can still rank your content for search terms and keywords using the likes of hashtags, but the main opportunity for SEO is actually on your profile. Putting keywords that your account is all about in your name, in your username, in your bio, and into your story highlights will allow you to rank higher for these terms and potentially show up when people are searching different categories, different niches, different areas. So by filling your profile up with these keywords, when people are searching them, you can potentially show up and gain that person as a follower. And the great thing about this is it is highly, highly targeted followers. If people are looking for a fitness coach to help them with their fitness goals and they search fitness coach into Instagram and you pop up, that is a warm lead that can potentially turn into to a customer. So go out there and find some searchable terms and words inside of your niche that might be based around your expertise that people could potentially be looking for on Instagram. Then add these to your bio, your name, not your username, or I mean you can, but your name is gonna be better SEO. Name, bio, captions are gonna be your main three where you can show up. And this here will likely become more effective as Instagram seemed to be becoming more of a content platform and trying to evolve and mature a lot more where you'd see SEO becoming more predominant like you see on platforms like Facebook where it's becoming more and more of a part of the platform. The second growth strategy you need to jump on now is Instagram Reels. If you are not using this feature to create engaging original content that serves your target audience, you are missing out. The Reels feature was introduced last year, but they are by far the best opportunity to grow your account quickly in 2021. Now, I went ahead and made a full video on how to grow with Instagram Reels, and then I even made a full video dissecting exactly how to grow with Instagram Reels based on how Instagram are telling us. So literally what they told us to do to grow with Instagram Reels. I made both those videos, they're both on my channel and you can check them out later, but here's a quick recap of the main points. Number one, make sure your Reels are entertaining and fast paced. Number two, get creative with your shots and your filmmaking to make things more engaging and eye-catching. Number three, use vertical video. Number four, use trending music or trending sounds on the app. Number five, make sure you have an engaging thumbnail. Number six is don't use watermarked content. If you're posting your videos on TikTok, either edit them off the app and then post the original on both TikTok and Instagram, or if you are downloading directly from TikTok, make sure you use something to remove that watermark, although I would say you're best to go original. And then number seven, following along those same lines, make original content for your brand. Go out there and put in the effort to create something yourself that will work rather than just reposting. And in general, do whatever you can to improve the viewer experience so you get an increased watch time percentage and therefore more reach on your content. And then lastly, number three is start playing the algorithm. Okay, again, playing the algorithm has been around for a few years now, but it is becoming way more prominent and it is definitely something you need to be doing more of in 2021. Especially considering Instagram are making limits around action blocks stricter, potentially removing the share to story feature and many others. All of this is making the main three ways to grow, SEO, hashtags, and explore. And all of those are very reliant on being favored well inside of the algorithm. But how do you actually win inside of the algorithm? Honestly, it's a slow game. It comes down to genuinely serving your audience, producing great content that they engage with, being a genuine person and interacting like a normal person when you use the platform. For example, not spamming the same comment over and over doing the $1.80 strategy, 
all day long just sending the same nice cool post love it that all day long as well as priming yourself inside of the algorithm so that it's going to favor you and push your content we talk a lot more about that inside of my instagram course i'll leave a link below if you want to check it out but now more than ever you need to have a sound understanding of the algorithm now there are two main rules of thumb here that i'm going to put forward and number one is make sure you optimize to increase the viewer experience on instagram this mostly boils down to creating content that they're going to enjoy if you can focus on how you can make content that they love rather than just you know throwing something together to post on instagram going that extra mile to create better content that they will engage with more and they will enjoy more is going to be worth it and going out there to create content that is just about the viewer rather than trying to just promote things 24 7 is again going to improve the viewer experience increase your watch time and therefore instagram will push you further inside of the algorithm the second rule of thumb is pretty much ask yourself before you're doing in any action on the platform does this look like the action of a bot or an automated software if the answer is yes then try and avoid it this includes things like mass dming the same sentence over and over to a bunch of people mass commenting similar vague comments large amounts of follow on follow and so forth basically just be genuine help your audience and avoid automation and that's pretty much it these three things are going to be way more powerful in 2021 and you should be using that's seo instagram reels and playing the algorithm to your favor and that pretty much wraps up today's video i've just released a brand new instagram course which is actually going to be my main instagram course going forward that you will see on this channel and that walks you through how to grow your account faster organically and start generating leads customers and sales from the platform this is a more in-depth version of my previous instagram crash course and goes over new features as well as updated content based on feedback of my previous stuff as well as feedback from students that i've helped one-on-one -on -one to get them results and this is pretty much designed to fast track your results on the platform hence the name instagram fast start program if you want to find out more about that you can check out the top link in the description that's it from me i will see you all next time